here's a thought and an idea for you. Something that I kind of just, kind of, just kind of came up, I guess. Just like right there, right now. That kind of thing. But like, how do you know when you're, when you're happy? How do you know when you're happy with what's happening? When you're truly just, like, how, what is, how do you as a person define when you're as a person happy? How do you define the word happy, the state of happiness? Like, what is that? Because it's different for every per every other person. Every person has a different state of mind when it comes to happiness. Like, for me, being truly happy is when my mind is not thinking about something. When I'm just sitting there and there's nothing up there. There is legitly nothing. Because up until forever, there has always been something. And there always will be something in some way, shape, or form. You know, whether or not someone brings something up to you or something were to happen but when you're tr when I'm truly happy with what's going on whether it be here there now that place then it's when there's just nothing rattling on up there there's nothing up there at all there's nothing that's troubling me there's nothing that I'm trying to figure out you know I figured out a lot of things and I understand a lot of things but that's only because I wanted to understand them and figure them out so I went out there I figured out what they were I understood them and now I'm at peace with them. I'm at bay with a lot of things because I've went out there, learned about them, formed my own opinions on them, and understand them in my way and have my own understanding and my own reasons behind it. Now, like, it's like one of those things where it's like people will say, Well, how do you know? It's like, I know. You have to just trust me that I know that that's how it is because it's just what I've been shown, it's what I've seen, and it's what I know. You know, it's like when you get into, like, a state of mind or a relationship or, like, connecting with something or someone. You just, you know in a way exactly how something's going to pan out or play out. Like, knowing that when I go overseas in eight years or however long, it's probably more like five or six, that I won't be taken there because a year ago dying in some faraway country in a ditch is all I wanted but the only reason why I wanted that is because of how down I was on everything and how I just wanted to end it all and be done with it I didn't want to quote unquote we'll say live up and experience the down and the hardships in my life you know everyone's life is different when it comes to hardships and the down spots everybody has a different and for me the down spots and the down shifts I wanted to just get out I wanted to escape from it all like it was never there and it never happened and that was my answer to it because I wasn't the one who was going to put a, a gun or a pill or a rope to me and do that because in my eyes that is no way to go out that's no way to end life in any way like a lot of people have different perspectives on that kind of thing when it comes to like the whole suicide thing but we already talked about all that and said that that's not the way to go if you're gonna go out if you're gonna go out you're gonna go out in a good way whether it be old age a car crash a car accident um, dying somewhere by a means that you couldn't have prevented something that was beyond your control because it was your time to go and when I say that it's not my time now, it won't be my time in 4 years or 8 years or 10 years or 20 years or 30 years or 50 years or 60 years. I know that. I know that I'm going to live through everything. I'm going to live through a lot of hardships, hard times, a lot of thinking, a lot of emotional things. All because it's things that I have been brought up to need to understand, want to understand. That's why I've always wanted to go to war. Because I want to understand it. I want to see what it is. People talk about these things all the time and try to form interpretations of it, but you can't form an, ac an accurate interpretation of something unless you live through it. Now, it's like one of those things when you're talking with people and you're like, yeah, I know what you're saying. But then you know in a way that, like, on the other end of the, the conversation, they're like, do they understand it? And then they're like, well, how do they understand it? Well, because they've been through something similar. They've seen something similar. They have a, a form and a opinion on it that cannot be broken because it's what they've come to understand what they've come to see and believe and understand in an aspect you know what I'm you see what I'm get you see what I'm like catching right there 
like everything has everyone has their own interpretation of everything their own reasons behind thinking about something and for me people can think whatever they want as long as they have a solid reason to back it up it does not affect me at all but when people say something but they don't have a reason to back it up or enforce what they're saying then I then that's a problem for me it's like well, what do you mean where are you going how can you how can you think like that but not have anything to back it up you know what I mean you whenever you know something or you say something you have a belief you have a reason why you think that why don't you just have it out and say it like why what what are you holding back what are you afraid of people say they're not afraid of anything but whenever you don't just say what's there because there's always something there. whenever you just don't have it out and say it you know something's up and you know something's going on. So just have it out. Let it all go. But, I don't know. Don't even know what that was about. But it just happened. And it was good. It was a good let out of what was there. Because there's something always there. Remember that. So you kids have a good day now. That was Zeba Tower. I hate editing Battlefield. That's why there's always going to be Call of Duty. Because it's so easy. So thanks. And you guys all have a great day. And, you know, just do do you. Nothing else. Just you.